Today I'm sharing with you guys seven really powerful efficiency tips for the Turkish getup that will drastically help improve your benefits from the exercise as well as keep yourself safe as you're performing it. Now, if you're new here, my name is Hudson and my goal is to help you become more functional and fit. So if you enjoy this video and want to see more just like it, hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Now, the Turkish get-up is absolutely amazing exercise. It helps with proprioception, helps with balance, coordination, stability, helps build strong, healthy shoulders. So I believe everyone should do it inside their strength program. But as anything else that we do inside the gym, if you do things without intent and you kind of let yourself just get sloppy during the exercise, things can fall apart and you can experience problems down the road. So I recommend listening to all seven tips because if just one of them makes the difference, it can make a huge difference in how you perform the exercise and what you can get out of it. But if you have two or three that you can implement into what you're doing now, it'll make a night and day difference. Now one quick thing I want to point out before we dive into the tips is I personally don't own any kettlebells right now, but I do have a lot of dumbbells. So what I use in this video is the kettle grip. Now this thing is awesome because what you do is you open it up, you put a dumbbell inside, and it acts just like a kettlebell. I recommend it if you want to use anything between a 10 to a 40 pound weight, anything heavier than that kind of gets a little wonky with the handle. But if you're someone that just wants to do kettlebell swings, Turkish get-ups, uh, overhead carries, things like that every now and then, great tool to have, helps save you a lot of money until eventually you do go and get a set of kettlebells. So I'll leave a link down below for you to check it out. Now let's get right into the first tip. Now tip number one is keeping your wrist straight. Sometimes I hear people say that their wrist hurts when they do Turkish get up and they feel like their wrists are kind of taking a beating during the exercise. This usually happens because they let themselves have a kink in their wrist and their wrist is extended versus keeping it in a nice straight line. So when I set myself up in the Turkish get up and I grab that kettlebell, I make sure my knuckles are turned over the handle and I have a nice straight line in my wrist. That way my wrist is in a good position and it won't experience any kind of pain. Tip number two is looking up at the weight. A lot of times people just go through the motion and kind of look around as they're doing the exercise. And what that causes you to do is not really be aware of where the kettlebell is sitting at over your head. And sometimes you kind of let that kettlebell flail around side to side. And when that happens, it's putting your shoulder in a very compromised position. So I like to tell my athletes to look up at the weight the entire time so you know exactly where that weight's at. You know exactly where up and down is and where to punch up. And that's gonna keep that kettlebell in a nice, safe position. Tip number three is keeping the elbow locked out the entire time. I'll see some people have their elbows bent off the get-go, and what that causes them to do is have to use more of their musculature from the start, but once they start to get tired during the exercise, then the weight's really gonna start flailing around and they're not gonna have much control over that kettlebell. So from the start, focus on punching that arm and squeezing your triceps so your elbow stays locked out, and that will drastically help you stay in control of that weight and use less energy to keep it stable. Tip number four is keeping that supporting hand out at a 45 degree angle. Sometimes I see people set it up in a 90 degree angle, sometimes they set it up almost right next to their side, and it makes it significantly harder to get your weight onto that arm. So from the start, make sure you set your arm up at about a 45 degree angle, it doesn't have to be perfect, but somewhere around that range, so that way it's easier for you to get your weight up onto that elbow and then to your hand. Tip number five is rolling over to your shoulder. Now this is a really beneficial tip if you're using a heavy kettlebell and it's really hard to go from that laying down to seated position. So what I like to do is if I have a heavy kettlebell for my Turkish getup, I will purposely lean over onto my shoulder first and then shift my weight onto my elbow. It doesn't have to be a straight up and down sit up motion. You wanna use that hand out to your side to help you get up to, into that seated position. So really focus on leaning onto your shoulder that side and then shifting onto your elbow, which makes it significantly easier to get from that lying down position. For tip number six, this is probably the most beneficial tip I could possibly give and I give to the most of my athletes because a lot of them make this mistake when they're first learning and that is sweeping your leg into the lunge. So let's say you're in that bridge position, you're ready to bring your leg underneath. A lot of people try to curl that leg straight underneath them and what that causes them to do is really struggle first to get that leg under them and then once they do, they're in a really poor compacted lunge position. What you want to do is sweep that leg inwards and then reach that leg as far back as you can to get you in a nice upright 90-90 degree lunge so you're nice and set up to stand up very efficiently and not put too much weight onto your knees. So again, it's not you curling that leg underneath, it's you sweeping it to the side and letting it have a lot of room to get into that good lunge position. Now for our last tip, this is probably the second most powerful tip I can give someone because I see a lot of people do this mistake when they're first learning and that is placing your hand to the side of the lunge. So when you say you're working your way back down and you're ready to place your hand back to the floor so you can sweep that leg through back to that bridge position. What I see a lot of people do is they end up leaning back 
and reaching their hand more, to more so towards their foot. What that causes them to do is then close that leg, which makes it significantly harder to get that leg back out to that extended position. So instead of leaning back and putting your hand towards your foot, you want to lean straight down to your side and get your hand in line with your knee. It won't be right next to your knee. I'll have about a foot or so of space in the middle, but what this does is it allows you to have plenty of angle still in that knee to sweep that leg around and get back to that extended bridge position. All right, guys, and there you have it. There are seven really powerful tips for the Turkish getup, and even if you only implement one of them, it can make a huge difference on how well you perform the exercise. If you guys enjoyed this video and want more talking about the Turkish getup or any other kettlebell exercises, make sure you leave them down below, as well as check out these videos as well for more efficiency tips that I've created in the past. Be sure to check the description down below for links to other playlists, as well as discounts on my affiliate links. Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.